The Herman Miller Aeron and Steelcase Leap couldn't be any more different than each other, but I love both of these extremely popular office chairs. In this video, I'll break down which chair wins in each key office chair category. I'll lead off with seat comfort. The Aeron is well known for its all mesh design, which provides a supportive but firm seating experience. The mesh is built into a hard outer shell that stretches the seat tight. The benefit is a consistent tightness, spreading your weight evenly across the seat pan. The main issue here is that the hard frame can limit different seating positions. The Leap features a padded seat with no such limitations. Like most high-end ergonomic chairs, it has a firm seat. This firmness has never been an issue for me. The flex in the seat pan allows for a lot of movement in the chair. The seat on the Aeron is its biggest weakness, so this gives the Leap the first category win. The stretched mesh held by a hard frame is carried into the backrest of the Aeron, except this is a very welcome place for this combination. Mesh backs are very popular in office chairs. They let you have some venting for your body heat while allowing you to feel suspended. The hard frame really should only be an issue if you are in a chair that is too small for your body. The Leap's backrest is similar to its seat in that it allows for lots of movement in the chair. The back has a built-in lumbar curve, which may be enough support for some. Personally, I prefer to add the additional height adjustable support to dial in the exact amount. Both chairs offer excellent back comfort, but the Leap takes the win by a small margin. The Aeron undoubtedly has the best cushioned arms of any office chair. Putting weight down on your elbow or forearm is very comfortable. The clamp height adjustment means you can lock the arms down in place, making them feel solid like part of the frame. Even their most adjustable package is not super adjustable, but I've never found any difficulty getting them in the correct position. The four-way adjustable arms of the Leap are the more adjustable option out of the two chairs. With large adjustment ranges, different size people should have no issues making the Leap arms fit. The arm pads are very soft, not to the level of the Aeron, but still one of the best you'll find in any office chair. This category is a bit of a toss-up, but I'm going to give it to the Aeron because of the thick cushion pads. Herman Miller does not make a headrest for the Aeron, so you'll need to look into third-party options. Your best option is to buy the Atlas headrest, which perfectly matches the look and feel of the chair. You honestly would never be able to tell that this wasn't a complete Herman Miller-made headrest. It also has great adjustability and adds to the floating feeling you get when reclining in the chair. Now there's no way around it, the headrest on the Leap is awful. So if you're set on having a headrest on your chair, I would stay away from the Leap. The Leap's headrest has a minimal amount of adjustment range and it never seems to hit your head or neck in the right spot. Admittedly, this is cheating since you have to go for a third party product and it's not cheap. But thanks to the Atlas headrest, the Aeron runs away with the win here. When it comes to adjustments, the Aeron features unique options like the forward tilt function and posture fit SL. Posture fit gives you additional lumbar support without ruining the suspended feeling the Aeron provides. An issue with the Aeron is it lacks some adjustments that allow you to fit the chair to your body. Instead, they go with a three different size chair approach. The Leap, on the other hand, is able to adjust to the user's size rather than needing to buy a specific chair size. Someone who is 5'2 can fit in the same chair as someone who is 6'2. This is not true with an Aeron. The essential adjustment to make this work is seat depth but the high and wide backrest also ensures that the 90 percentile will fit in a leap. The win goes to the leap here. The number one reason I love the Aeron is because the recline is unmatched. It's so good that it makes me overlook some of the flaws that the chair has. For me, the Aeron is the ultimate productivity chair, keeping you in an ergonomic position. It allows you to maintain this position while giving you the smoothest recline when it comes time to kick back. Herman Miller has nailed it when it comes to recline in their performance seating. The Leap is not the right chair if you want to rock back and forth in your chair. It has an excellent backstop system, allowing you to set how far back the backrest will tilt, but this mechanism is not made for constant movement. Where you get the motion in the Leap is in its flexibility and your ability to use different seating positions. The check here goes to the Aeron. With the Aeron being a mesh chair versus the Leap's padded fabric, there are some different things to consider with build quality. It's possible for the mesh of the Aeron to get snagged and show some wear over time, and the frame will eventually accumulate some scuffs and marks, but the Aeron I've been using since 2018 still looks excellent. Everything feels solid and is really well built. Now looking at the Leap, the same thing will apply to the frame. You'll eventually see some marks from running your chair against your desk or the wall. 
and over time the fabric will begin to show some wear. At BTOD we sell refurbished leaps, so we get to see what well used chairs can look like, and most of them are still in excellent condition and fully functional. When it comes to build quality, you're getting the very best from both the Aeron and the Leap. I have to call this one a tie. Aesthetics are the most subjective thing to rate, so here you're just getting my straight up opinion. I love the look of the Aeron, especially the all black gaming version. Some might say that the Aeron just looks like an average office chair, but I'd argue that that's because everyone is trying so hard to look like an Aeron. It's classy and modern without trying too hard. Where the Leap might lack in some classiness, it makes up for it with customization. 34 upholstery and 3 frame options gives you 102 combinations. With the Aeron, you get 6. The Leap is still a great looking chair, and with the right color and fabric, you can really level up your office space. But I have to give the edge to the chair that's in the Museum of Modern Art. A fully loaded Aeron with posture fit lumbar, tilt limiter, and fully adjustable arms will run you $1,910. Keep in mind if you want that headrest, the Atlas is $190. A fully loaded Leap with cogent upholstery, four-way adjustable arms, and adjustable lumbar will run you $1,320. The fact that these chairs are so equally matched in terms of quality, but with a $600 price difference, it means the Leap easily gets the win. Both chairs offer a 30-day free return period in the U.S., and both chairs offer 12-year warranties. If you're going to drop close to $2,000 on a chair, I'd recommend reading the fine print for your region. This goes as a tie. I hate ending in a tie, so I'll break it up. The Leap deserves an X-Factor win because it gives you the ability to move around in the chair. The Aeron is much more limiting. As the better chair for most people, the Leap is the winner.